Americans have been justifiably outraged by the impact of coronavirus on older adults and minority communities. Nursing homes have been hit hard during this pandemic. African Americans are among the hardest hit. And having to worry about rationing of health care. You might be shocked to know that health care rationing has been taking place in the United States since long before the pandemic. A group called the Institute for Clinical and Economic Review, or ICER, issues reports about whether new FDA-approved medications are worthy of insurance coverage. Health insurance companies then use ICER's work to limit the number of drugs they'll cover and design other restrictive policies. How do they do it? Well, ICER uses an old health economics measure called QALY, which stands for Quality Adjusted Life Years. Qualies are based on the premise that an older person living with a disease, or a person of any age living with a disability, is economically worth less than a younger or healthier patient. In other words, Qualies limit access to care to those who need it most in order to save insurance companies a few bucks. Unbelievably, even Medicare Part D plans use ICER's reports to deny care. This means people who may have paid Medicare taxes their whole lives are told, too bad, the moment they need help. That's not even the scariest part. According to surveys, 58% of Americans aren't even aware that this type of healthcare rationing has been occurring. Another 70% think insurance companies shouldn't be able to deny coverage based on the age, illness, or disability of a patient. To learn more about this unfair system and how you can help stop it, go to icerfacts.org.